Welcome to Compute 175. In this video, we will try to illustrate the concept of encapsulation. Encapsulate means enclose something in a capsule. In object-oriented programming, it basically means hiding the details of some implementation that does not need to be unveiled in order to use this implementation. Objects have attributes, methods. How these attributes are named the details of the code implementing the methods is not important in order to use the objects and invoke the methods. We call the methods via an interface. The details are hidden. This is what we call encapsulation. Here's a first example. This is an old calculator. Everybody knows how to use it, to add, multiply, etc. But do you know how does it work inside? mechanics and electronics are not relevant to you to use this device. What matters are the functions provided to you, the available buttons. That's what we call interface. If you are presented with other calculators, well, as long as they have the same interface, you can use them the same way. The details inside can be different, but who cares? Let's see another example. Well, this is a phone, a very old phone. A century ago, phones had a crank. You turn it to call an operator to connect you to the person you want to talk to. Okay, here's another one. The difference between these two is the interface. We need it to turn the crank, yes, but you also need to speak into a horn or listen to uh, another independent ear horn. However, how the operator actually connects you, well, was not a detail you needed to know. Telephones have evolved significantly since then. The interface has changed a bit. We had rotary dials, then touch dials, and now with smartphones it's even more advanced. But in all cases, to call and receive calls, you do not need to know the details. How the phone switches happen, all you need to know is the interface. The details beyond that phone don't matter. So what you need to know is where is the microphone, the speaker, and how to dial, either the touch dial or rotary dial. How the lines are, <laughs> how they are connected, who cares? Rotary dials, do they still exist? Yes. Do you know how to use them? So here again is a phone. This is an old-fashioned phone called a rotary phone. And it has a different dial. How do we dial on this phone? Well, pick it up. For example, I want to dial 492. Go to the 4. Turn to the end, let go. Nine. Go to the end, let go. And then two. And I'm done. I can speak. Here's another example of encapsulation. This is an engine, a car engine. To drive the car, I don't need to know whether this is a combustion engine or an electric engine, whether it has six cylinders or four cylinders doesn't really matter whether it has 200 horsepower or more or less. It doesn't really matter for me to drive the car. Of course, it can help. But to drive the car, I need to interface with it using the steering wheel to change directions and the pedal to brake to stop and an accelerator pedal. The rest doesn't really matter. It's hidden for me. I don't have to open the hood and check. Yeah, of course, you may say there's something else in the interface, and indeed there are other things, like, for example, the stick shift. Speaking of the stick shift, that's yet another interesting example of encapsulation. So here's an automatic transmission gearbox, and the question remains the same. Do I need to know how this works? Do I need to know the intricacies inside this gearbox to be able to drive my car? No. The only thing I need to know is the interface, how to communicate whether I want to park, to drive forward, to drive backwards, and so forth. 
And for manual transmission cars, there's another kind of interface, and, and it'll tell me whether I want to go in reverse, first gear, second gear, and so forth. Some cars actually have this stick attached to the uh, steering wheel or to the dashboard. The point is, again, I just need this interface to communicate with the car what to do, and I don't have to know the details inside. It's hidden from me. What I need to know is this interface, how to express what I want this gearbox to do, but I don't have to know how this gearbox is doing it. So, we talked about in this video is this concept of encapsulation. We illustrated it with some examples. The important thing is that encapsulation allows the separation of object implementation from its behavior. So if we change the implementation without changing the behavior, the program using the object don't have to be updated. Also, by having this black box around the implementation, we protect the internal state of the object, attributes, etc., from any unintentional corruption. 